Whenever we want to build an image gallery or a slideshow into our website, we can use an element called slider. Let's add slider element onto our website. From the add section, if we scroll down to advance, we will find slider element. Let's drag and drop this slider element into our container. Now you can see by default, it's giving us some options here. First of all, we will close these settings and let's learn about what slider offers us. With slider, you will get two slides. Under the masks section, you will get left and the right navigation links and one navigation bar. So first, let's add some images into these slides and see how the default slider works. If I go to the add section and if I grab one image element, what I have to do, my image element should be under the slide, the first slide or the second slide. I'll start with the first slide and we can choose our first image, maybe this one. Okay. And then we can, first what we can do is we can make this image width 100%. Okay. For the next slide, what we can do, we can just copy this image element and paste it in the second slide. So right now you can see the second slide is active. We can replace the image for the second slide also. Uh, maybe this one. Okay. And uh, I can also change the height for this one, maybe 100%. Image is a little bit stressed. But what we can also do is we can change uh, the width of our container or we can make it like 400 pixels or maybe 600 pixels. So this is enough. Let's preview this and let's see how this works. So if I preview, you can see with these arrows, I can navigate between my slides or the images. And also I can navigate using this navigation bar icons. Now let's understand a little bit about the settings of the slider. If I come back to my editor and then if I click to the slider and in the settings section, first of all, if you want to navigate between your slides, you have multiple options. First, you can click on these navigation icons and this will help you navigate between your slides or you can just simply click on the, your slide item, you can navigate between your slides. On the settings side, you can use these arrows to navigate between your sides. Or, and the last option is you can use this drop down. and if you al already know which slide you want to go, you can just click and go to that specific slide. If you want to add a new slide to your slider, you can click this add slide button and this will add you a new slide. Let's also copy this image element here in the third slide and then change the elements image for the third slide also. So you can see here now as many slides as I'm going to add, this navigation bar is going to fill with the same amount of the slide, the same number. So again, if we go back to the settings, let's understand a bit more about the animation. Now with the slides, if you play or if you preview any of the slides, these have some basic animations. We can change these animations and Webflow gives us some basic animations like slide, crossfade, fade in and out, fade over and slide over. Let's first change one of these animations, maybe crossfade. So uh, let's play this and let's see. Now you can see, uh, previously we have seen there's a slide animation, now there's a crossfade animation on it. So you can play around with these animations. This is kind of a bit of advanced settings. We are not going to go into this right now. We are going to learn about this settings in future lectures. Now, next element is the duration here. And the duration is something that how fast or slow you want to change your slide animation. For example, lower the number, the faster it's going to get. Right now, it's 500 milliseconds. Let's play this and let's check the speed. Okay. Now, if I want to make this faster, I can lower the number and then play this. 
you can see this is faster and the higher the number is going to be get, getting slower now 1000 milliseconds is kind of one second here so this is what you have to remember in the duration section we have one more option here infinite repeat slides let's preview this option and let's understand what this option does for example if you go from the first slide to the second slide and the third slide now you are on a last slide and if you click on this button you will come back to the first slide this is because of this option that if a slides are ending then it's going to repeat the first slide again now we have another option here disable swipe gestures now for example if I play this and if I try to swipe this you can see the slides are changing I didn't click any of this button for example if you are on your mobile or your tablet or any touch screen you can swipe through these slides if you want to disable this option you can click on this button and this swipe option will be disabled the next option is auto play slides for example if I preview right now the slides are going to do nothing unless I click any of this option we can make it auto play by clicking on this auto play button the auto play button gives us two more options here timer delay and the stop after the timer delay is something that what is the time interval between the slides for example the first slide changes and in how much time the second slide should come in let me make it 1000 milliseconds and it's going to be very fast you can see right now I'm not clicking any option and the slides are changing very fast now if I make it like 4000 and if I preview this you can see that the slides are in autoplay motion but they are a bit slower in the duration of the next slide stop over is something if you want to stop your slide at some time this is a bit advanced setting also and this also we are not going to learn right now the next option is hide arrows at both end now for example what this option is going to do if I click on this option for example the first arrow is hidden because there is no next slide at the left end if I click on the right and if I go to the end slide it's going to also hide this one and keep this one because we can go here but not here because end slide is ended so I'm going to enable this option back now this is slide nav bar we are talking about this right now this slide nav bar have some options here for example number labels if you want to hide these numbers you can just keep if you want to keep it rounded you can make you can disable this option by default it's going to get the square options you can add shadows to it you can invert colors from here for example right now this was gray and now this is kind of like a dark color you can add numbers again or you can just keep it rounded now the last option is the spacing we can also adjust the spacing between these navi uh, navigation icons for example we can make it like a 5 pixel space or 10 pixel space just to show you this, the amount of space it's going to get now if I play this you can see we can navigate between our slides sliders are very common right now and you can see them everywhere most of the sites we open nowadays do have sliders in some way let me show you some examples of the sliders that how we can use these sliders for example we can use them like this with the full screen and you you may have seen these kind of sliders in many websites if I click on this this slider is auto played also this is their navigation and this can be built with the help of just CSS Now the next and advanced version of kind of slider is this one we can make our sliders look like this also but this is a bit of advanced and we are definitely going to learn some advanced tips and tricks so guys if you are liking my videos and my course please like subscribe and share that's it for this video see you in the next video